Hello, I am one inky queer reading my poetic reflections on COVID. We all kept city busy, buzzing round this queer old town, openly giggling at the prospect of pandemic. Forward planning more than habit took for granted. I was emotionally attached to my Google Poly calendar. Relationships crossing counties and made multicolour coded pretty, right up to the lines of social distance Tuesday. Covid crashed in unexpected, an uninvited guest, my whole life cancelled in one morning, cruel instant left me blinking, with just uncertainty, zoom and shaky selfhood, to raft on rudderless, into unknown madness. Somehow, it was all around us and monster on the horizon simultaneous, sure invisible and airborne, perhaps all over packaging, lurking in every human, so it graph tracked seemed and we were all scared of each other, even more so than before. That part, I'm not certain, is over. The spiky new virus is a shiny new focus for my health anxiety. Old magpie barely hiding its glee. It always had many heads, but COVID gives ugly new hairdos to the hydra. So it goes, we are locked in together. One flat, two noisy bastards, relationship boot camp as we termed it, ever on the search for silver linings, as my family wider blew apart around landmines, fell in abyss of enforced distance. None of us needed this, all raging and weeping from separate living rooms, sat in empty cities. And there is an obligatory stop to my running. No distractions from myself or from experience. Lockdown makes me sit and face things. Things I am not ready for. The past and damp mould spores blow up through every open door. Though the peaks rise, dust settles on unexpected blessings. Time to read, time for sex. Time to learn to walk again, focused. Time to trip alone and realise I'm a poet. Time to love thoroughly, you and my own company. I was forced to sort myself out and I wouldn't forego that strong arm now. 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 What is now? You still can't. Smell it, touch it, see it, yet it skips around inside us. Thoughtless child gone monstrous, but like all beasts, its shadow might be largest at the dying of the light. What I see in my friends' minds is fear, and it lives in mine. I won't look it in the eye, no manifesting realisations here. Superstition, though the cause is real as real, real as body counts real as 60% disabled deaths. What won't they do in the name of herd immunity? Have I had it two or three times this quarter? We're not sure and have all our immune responses changed? Will every cold bring back migraines? Spent four years working those bastards out my neck. Guasha it to blood and rashes just to regain a fashion of control. Over health, over healing, over body, over my fear. <laughs>